Coach, you began the season this past Friday with a 71-67 loss to number 24 Wayne State, but you guys bounced back with a big 77-60 win over defending NSIC champions. Uh, briefly talk about uh, the start to your season leaving Wayne, Nebraska with a 1-1 one -one record. I thought the, the road trip was really good for us. Obviously, you want to come back 2-0. Uh, you know, and it didn't happen. We came close. But I scheduled this trip up there for a reason. Uh, Wayne State, Northern State, very good teams in the Northern Sun. And I knew that our deficiencies uh, would be exposed immediately. And if we want to get better, we've got to take care of those deficiencies. So really proud of our effort. I thought we were really scrappy. Um, you know, we had, a, I guess, a two-point lead with about two minutes left to go uh, Friday night. We were a stop, score, stop away from, from taking that victory. And, and that would have maybe been the sixth or seventh time that, that Chris has been beaten in six or seven years there. So they've got quite a home record there. And then, uh, you know, our girls responded Saturday, uh, that second quarter outscoring Northern State by 27. And like I said earlier, I think the girls were trying to prove to themselves that they should have taken Friday night's game as well. So I think we bring a, a lot of confidence away from that. We bring a, knowledge, a lot of knowledge away from that. And, and now it's time to get back to work. So tomorrow night, you take on local foe uh, Missouri St. Louis, who you defeated last year, 79-78. Um, discuss the importance of your game against the Tritons, uh, which falls in the middle of this five-game road trip. Well, it's always nice to play some, some local teams, and, and I have a lot of respect for, for Amsel and, and Katie down there. She does a great job. This is a nice rivalry game. We're 20 minutes apart. You know, there, there are girls that are probably on our team that looked at Amsel. There's girls on Amsel's team that looked at us. So, you know, there's a familiarity. Katie used to be in the, in the MIAA at Lincoln, and uh, they're going to come out and compete hard. I know that, that her team likes to get up and, and get in your shorts and pressure you. They want to push and transition and create tempo. So it's going to be a little bit different style of basketball than what we saw this past weekend, but we're definitely looking forward to it. And we know also it's going to be a, a really solid ball club. So Kat, Cassidy Gagenbacher seems to have picked up where she left off a year ago. Vanessa Zalo Everton have boards your previous two games. What have you seen in the past two games that shows you this team can be better than last? You know, Cassidy, you're exactly right. Those two young ladies have done a nice job. And I think part of the reason that those two had nice games this weekend was, was Jenny Roach at the point. Uh, I noticed that Jenny Roach was very aggressive looking for her shot. She may not have hit the shot that, you know, I, I told, told the team the other day in, in practice, Jenny pulled up for that 13, 14 foot jumper underneath the free throw line and, and I stopped practice. I said, there's three certainties in life, death, taxes, and the Roach of 12 foot jumper. And uh, she was looking to, to take that shot uh, this past weekend. They just didn't go. Uh, as long as she's aggressive, that opens things up for everybody else. And, and now that, you know, Cassidy, obviously everybody knows about Cassidy throughout the Midwest and probably the nation, now you've got kids like Kylie Ferguson and Bree Wilbur stepping up. And, and, you know, Kylie had a nice shooting game Saturday. Uh, Bree Wilbur had a nice shooting game Saturday. So as those kids become more consistent and look for their shots, you know, now you just can't focus on Cassidy. And, you know, with Vanessa and her rebounding, we've got to get her some help. Uh, I think that's probably one thing we noticed this weekend. Uh, they hammered us on the boards pretty good. So, you know, we've got to get some help from Cece, from Jonesy, from Beth, from Bree Sanders, and, and a couple of our bigger guards uh, to help Vanessa out on the boards. Uh, Coach, just, you know, touch on closing out the week with a two-game stint in the Quincy Tip-Off Classic this weekend, uh, which will also cap off a pretty long road trip to start the year. Yeah, this, old, this, this road trip to start the year is, been, is going to be a good test for us. And then we get to finish it off up in Quincy. Uh, I know that Sunday we get to play Quincy, and, and it's nice to get Cassidy and Hannah Reller back in their hometown. Right. You know, Jenny does a great job at Quincy. Quincy's a really good shooting team. Uh, they're at the top of the Great Lakes Valley Conference. And so once again, I put us in position on an opponent, a very good opponent's home court to test us, to see what we're made of. Uh, you know, and that's hopefully going to, to springboard us into when we start the home slate next week. All right, Coach, thank you very much, and good luck this week. Thank you. I appreciate it.